Good day everyone. I'm fully in support of people becoming self-reliant with regards to the energy needs. However, in this article that I bring you now, it is important that you understand that everything is not what manufacturers and what the political masses out there try to tell you. And you need to be made aware of things that can go wrong when people are trying to force an ideology down people's throats and how people can get hurt and how things can get damaged. And in this article, which uh, is the PV magazine, so it's photovoltaic magazine, it says Senec remotely switches off its residential batteries after explosion in Germany. And there were more than just one explosion of these batteries. These batteries obviously kept in people's homes. And obviously it's ideal to be able to store your energy somewhere, especially if you have solar PV or if you have wind, so that you can then later use it when the wind is not blowing or when the sun isn't shining. So you're dependent on batteries, but batteries come with huge problems. And I am acutely aware of this, especially in the nuclear industry where we used all sorts of batteries and they needed regular maintenance. These people are trying to manufacture batteries without any maintenance, hoping that they can find a market that they can flood with a political ideology that is not always real or even true. Because manufacturing batteries is a very dirty business. But let me continue. The German battery manufacturer said this week its residential storage systems will automatically switch to a regulated standby mode in Germany. Now, the main thing that caught my attention is that they could switch the batteries, which means that they are monitoring the batteries remotely. They connected to the net, which means they are monitoring, tracking and tracing people's usage of energy in their homes. And I've spoken about this at length in my double days meetings, why this is happening and why a profile is being built on your life. A lot of people will agree with this, a lot of people will not. Then there's a picture of a battery standing outside with a fire brigade, etc. After the firefighters brought the battery outside the building, it ignited again. It says here, German battery provider Senec announced this week its residential storage systems will automatically switch to a regulated standby mode. The remote shutdown relates to three products from the company, the, uh, the Senec Home V. 3 Hybrid, Senec Home V3 Hybrid Duo and Senec Home V2.1. The manufacturer described the move as a purely precautionary me measure. Okay, they say it's precautionary, but later you will see that this is false. This is a voluntary and preventative measure. There are no indications that, th that there are any technical problems with our system, said Senec. Wow. Three incidents of these things catching a light and as we carry on even causing explosions you tell me how there's no indication that there is a problem with your system there's a huge problem with your system when that happens the background to the remote shutdown is three reports of explosions in houses in which scenic storage systems were installed it's like putting voluntarily paying a lot of money to put a bomb inside your house the fire department of Bodneck in Germany's southern region of Baden-Württemberg reported an explosion in an apartment building last week. When the first forces arrived, a house covered in smoke and a roof window that had been torn out were explored, says the report from the fire brigade. The heavily smoky boiler room was discovered in the basement. As it turned out, the battery storage installed in the basement detonated due to a technical defect and subsequently caused a smoldering fire in the basement. The pressure wave pushed several windows and doors outward and the entire roof structure was lifted, the fire department said. Then it's got a picture of this unit completely busted. And it says after extinguishing the fire, the fire brigade cooled down the battery in a vat of water. And you'll see the picture there. A technician, and I'll put the links to this article in the description below the video as well as in the first comment. So you can find it there. A technician from local utility ENBW switched the building off a master electrician, pulled the fuses and then the battery was dismantled. The battery was carried out of the basement by five people wearing breathing apparatus, SCBAs. Does that sound familiar? And it ignited again in the open air. 
There it was extinguished in later place in a vat of water to cool down. The house is currently no longer habitable. The Bodneck Fire Department continued. It's completely blown up. Since there were no people in the building, no one was injured, luckily, and no one was injured in the other incidents either, according to Senex letter. Since the issue of safety is our top priority, we have nevertheless decided to take this clear step. The Lipschitz based company stated the cause of the events has not yet been conclusively determined. There are no indications that the battery was the cause of the explosion. Come on, people. Even external experts who were immediately involved do not assume that the storage devices led to the explosion Senec writes to its consumers. So maybe they are thinking that people are trying to uh, just deliberately do something to sabotage the product. I don't know what they are trying to say. But if you look at the pictures, the flippant thing blew up. That is very clear. Uh, you can read the rest of the article. There's not much there uh, further that has any bearing on the fact that, firstly, don't think that everything that is just going to save you, that it's fine for people to rush to, due to political ideologies, that you're going to be saved by solar PV and the battery storage. People are going to take chances. They're going to take shortcuts. And I can tell you that many of the engineers that we have today might not care about safety or feel about safety the same way people did before. And you have to question why the company has the ability and why people has allowed the ability for those batteries to be monitored and controlled remotely. If it's on the internet, it can be switched off, which means that there is access to the power supply in your home. Not just monitoring it, but switching it off. This is wrong, people. It's not okay that you allow this in your house. Do so at your own peril. The people that I've warned will never allow anything like that. They will have self-reliance with regards to their own power systems. And if they install batteries, they'll make sure that they have control over their batteries and that it cannot be controlled via some website remotely. Imagine a hacker having a field day with that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please go and read the article and understand what this means. Thank you very much. Till the next video.